In vapor recovery, we remove the refrigerant from the HVAC system in a vapor state. Then the vapor is condensed into a liquid by the recovery unit and finally transferred to the recovery cylinder. Here's the basic process. When you're ready to start, make sure that the system you're servicing is powered off. Then check that the recovery machine selector knob is also set to off and all valves on the manifold are closed. For this demonstration, we're using a manifold to monitor pressure as it provides a metering option and allows us to pull from both the high and low side ports at the same time. Connect your manifold to the system being serviced, high side to liquid port and low side to vapor port. Now connect the quarter inch utility hose of your manifold to the suction port of the recovery machine. Finally, connect the hose from the liquid side of the recovery cylinder to the discharge port. You'll want to be sure that the ends with the shutoffs are used at the suction and discharge ports. This is required by law. We're using quarter inch hoses like these Yellow Jacket Plus 2 hoses. When you're done making all connections, your setup should look something like this. Before recovering refrigerant into the recovery cylinder, purge all hoses of non-condensables. Just like with liquid recovery and when using the Recover XLT model as shown, you'll need to zero out the scale and monitor to avoid overfilling. Now you're ready to turn the recovery unit on. Turn the selector valve on the unit to vapor. Open the utility port and the low side valve on the manifold. The unit will recover until the low pressure switch shuts down the unit and the lamp indicates recovery complete. The automatic shutoff is an important feature of the Yellow Jacket Recover XLT recovery units. When recovery is complete, turn the system switch off and turn the selector valve clockwise to off. Again, you must purge after every recovery. Purging clears the system of refrigerants, reducing the risk of cross-contamination and prolonging the life of your equipment. So we'll turn the system switch on and turn the selector valve to purge. When the unit again shuts down and the lamp indicates recovery complete, then your vapor recovery process is finished.